Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're doing episode two of our Razor Madness competition. Stay tuned because I'm That's right, I am Dave Shaves. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at The Dave Shaves. Follow me on Facebook and Patreon.com slash The Dave Shaves. And remember to hit me up on the web at TheDaveShaves.com. All right, so today, as mentioned, we are doing episode two of our Razor Madness competition. This is the finale. Last week, if you remember, just a quick recap, we compared two DE razors and two cartridge razors. The DE razors we compared were two open combs. We did a modern open comb, which was the Mula R41. We also did a comparison with a vintage 1930s Gillette long comb, new, Gillette new long comb. And on the other side of my face, we did the Gillette 1993 Gillette Sensor XL. And we compared that with a modern cartridge, the Defender Razor. So if you remember that, we did three passes. We did cartridges over here, DEs over here, and the winner of each of those was the Mula R41 for the DE and the 1993 Gillette Sensor XL. So today what we're going to do is we're going to finally come to the decision whether or not the DEs are that much better than the cartridges. This is one of my favorite cartridges, and a lot of people swear that this is the best. And we did compare it against a modern. So we're using a classic 1993 Gillette sensor, because it did win last week, and we're using a modern Mula R41. And we're gonna find out once and for all, for me, if DE really is that much better. Don't get me wrong, I prefer DEs, and I will always turn to DEs first. However, I do believe there is a place on the market for cartridge razors, especially classic cartridge razors. So I really want to find out which one of these actually holds up because this is the most aggressive razor on the market, arguably at least. And this is arguably one of the most popular cartridge razors. So we're going to find out. And pairing with my Mula, we are pairing that again with my Voskod. My, one of my go-to blades, if not my go-to blade. And we're just gonna, I really wanted to use this because whenever I'm comparing razors, I, I use this because it is my go-to. It's the way I, it's, it's my baseline. It's how I get a baseline shape because I always know what a Voskot does for me in every single razor. So, as a baseline, we're gonna pair that again with the Voskod, just like we did last week. And then of course, don't need to worry about a blade here because the Sensor XL, once you pop off this blade cover, has the cartridge already right there. So, that's what we're using as far as the hardware goes. We are also using a brush. We are using my Perfecto Badger Hair Brush. And we are using with that my Arco Shave Stick, because again, it gives me just a very uniform lather. And it's easy, and it's, it has a decent smell, but it's not overpowering. And it's just overall a good soap, for me at least. So that's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna finish up today Today we're finishing up with Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm Ice Cold. And I'm using this and I'm pairing with this with a Skin Bracer Aftershave Splash. And I'm doing that because the temperatures here in Nashville have been stupid. Just stupid. Heat index is in and above 110. So easily one of the hottest summers we've ever had. And 
I just, I need cooling. Definitely need to cool down a bit. So, all right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. We've been going on about five minutes now, so that's long enough recap. So let's just go ahead and get this party started. Gonna let the water heat up a bit. I hope everybody is doing well. I appreciate y'all bearing with me. I know before last week, before my shave last Friday, I missed a week and a half, but you all, you all came locking back and I appreciate it. We have easily uh, over 160 views on that video since Friday, so that's good times. I'm not surprised. Because most of my comparison videos have the most views. So I'm hoping for a similar outcome here. So we'll see. But I think it's going to be good. I think I'll get a nice, a nice outcome of views. I also love Arco because, and I've mentioned this numerous times, like it sticks around for a while. I mean, this Arco stick here, the first Arco stick I ever opened, it's almost dead at this point, but it's still holding on and I've had it, I've been using the same Arco stick now for a few years. So. Granted, I don't use it all the time. So it just sort of sits there and dries out and I use it when I need it. So, uh, it is almost dead, and I think I'm going to throw it out here pretty soon, but still holding out okay, so as long as I can still get use out of it, I hate to just toss it. All right, so let's go ahead and start lathering up. If you guys have a theory about which of these razors is going to win... Put it in the comments below, let me know. I'd love to, to find out which ones you think. I have a feeling most of you are probably gonna say the Mula, but I, I would love to see if, if some of you disagree out there. My sideburns are getting a bit out of hand. I need to give them a trim. Looks like my goatee could probably use a trim as well. Yeah. I have a feeling a trim and a shape up is coming up here pretty soon. I also have another non-shave video coming up next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I do have a non-shave video. I was given a, a product from a company and they want me to try it out. So I'm going to try it out. It is non-shave. It does still, you know, uh, grooming. It's still part of the grooming thing that we got going on, but it's not actually shaving. So stay tuned for that sometime next week. All right, so let's go ahead and start this uh, first pass. Again, as with every other shave I do, first pass is always with the grain. Not quite as much growth going on as last week. I tell you though, this is not cutting through as well as it did last week. It's still doing decently, but it's still not 
quite cutting through as well as it did. It's the same blade. And a second use on a Voskhod should be just as good as a first. I've always noticed that. So that's not the issue. I just think that compared to... I mean, that just shows you really... Sorry, kind of switched my train of thought slightly. Uh, that just sort of goes to show you that when you're comparing it with the vintage, that's how much better that this is compared to the vintage. Because even back then... Like, even though it's not cutting through as well as, as I would hope, it still is cutting through better than the uh, 1930s open comb Gillette did last week. So that's definitely, that definitely shows you the comparison there. But the real test here is gonna be how this cuts through. Again, this is actually probably on more uses than my Voskhod. I think this is probably on use three for this cartridge. One thing I don't like doing is my sideburns. Ooh, that is much shorter. With a cartridge. I hate sideburns with a cartridge. I need to take this one up though. I need to go back here for just a second. Sorry. There it goes. Now I do gotta say, it did cut through the, uh, when you're cutting through really long hair like this, this is definitely cutting through nicely. Um, the cartridge is, when it comes to hair that long, you really do need to take a trimmer to it first. Um, but I'm going to tell you, one thing I do have to say is aside from the sideburn, which is just a feature of cartridges, you just, really anything. I mean, it's kind of a cart, sideburns when they get that long are a bit of a bitch to, to even out anyway without a trimmer. So uh, I can't really fault it for that. But when it comes down to the actual face, this... I mean, you can see, I mean, you probably, if you go back and watch just the past couple minutes, you'll see the difference. Um, when it comes to cutting through, this cut through a little bit better, it really did. And it is leaving a little bit, it's leaving less stubble. Um, so right off the bat, this is giving the, the mule a run for its money. But I really want to see not just how it does on the first pass, but we really do need to compare how it does overall. So let's go in for pass two. The thing about Arco is I always find myself having to reapply after at least the second pass, sometimes even after the first pass. Definitely a little light on the lather for the second pass, but it's good enough. It's still very, very slick. But I am gonna have to reapply before my third pass. All right, so let's go ahead and go pass two, cross grain on top against grain on bottom, see what we got going on.
past two. Is doing exactly what you would expect. Great shave. I could probably call it after a second pass, even though I never do. But I could if I really needed to or wanted to. Let's go in for the cartridge. They're about even. The problem area is a little worse on my cartridge than where the mula was. But that could be because I haven't gone across green yet. This is very close. See, right now I'm feeling, before I was feeling like the sensor might be winning. Now I'm kind of feeling like the, the mula might be winning. I really need to see what third pass does, and then I have to compare all three based on how they did all together. So we'll see. Apply some Arco. So we got reapplied. Let's get a little bit more water there. Now just go ahead and lather up. Bit of a wet lather for the third pass, but that's all right. That's all right. All right. Here we go. Third pass. I know there's not much other talking I got going on, but this is sort of taking up all my mind. <laughs> Every thought I have right now is more or less about this shave. So, sorry there's not much random chit-chat, but I kind of think that you want more of this chit-chat when more of the actual conversation to do with this comparison when it's a comparison, so. But, also, Put comments below, let me know how you're doing. If you have things you want me to touch on, if you have topics you want me to talk about, you want to get my, you want to get my opinion on anything, let me know. I take requests for everything. Shaving, conversation, you name it.
Okay. All right. Third pass. Doing really well for the Mula. Here we go. Let's see how my Gillette does. One thing I'm noticing is I think I mean I prefer the way the the mula feels. Not that this feels bad, it definitely doesn't. But I definitely think I prefer the way it feels. This just doesn't feel quite as not quite as smooth of a of a motion. Although the mula did give me a bit of a of a nick, which happens. Don't really know that you can count that. Cause anybody at DE anybody at DE shaves knows that you run the risk. of a cut more so because it's an actual razor blade than you do with this. All right. Oh, that's close. All right. I got really got to think about this. Let's go ahead and clean up my face a little bit. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up a little bit while I think here. Um, Cause I really don't know. I'm kind of at a loss here. Both are magnificent shaves. I, I have to say that when I started DE shaving, and I guess it was the different, I guess it was the cartridge I was using and disposables I was using because I, I could totally tell a difference. And uh, granted, I never used a sensor, so I think that adds up too, that adds into it. Um, but it's not as, it's not as, as farther apart as, as I was expecting it to be. do have a little bit of nicks um actually even i even have some nicks here where the sensor was so i can't really blame the mula for that either it's just the area let's go ahead and see how aftershave feels I'm approaching a winner. I have a winner building in my mind. Okay. Burning. 
There's a little bit more burning on the side from the sensor than with the Mula. Skin bracer just burns all around. I can't really say that for the skin bracer. Um, all right. So here's what we're looking at. At the end of the day, both are magnificent shaves. Now it's true, when there was a decent amount of growth on here, the Gillette sensor did, it coasted through nicely. It really did. It was a nice cut through, didn't really have to repeat strokes. That was good. However, let's also look at my sideburns, and I had an easier time evening out my sideburns with my Mula than I did with my cartridge. So right there, they are sort of running neck and neck there. Then when it comes to the closeness to the shave, they weren't much different. There is a little bit of extra growth here which is funny because I think I had said that there was less growth after the first pass, but um, there's a little bit more stubble feeling here than on this side, ever so slightly. And then there's more burning on the cartridge side, which leads me to think that that's a little bit more of, aggress of an aggressive shave. So, what it boils down to, what I have to say, is I have to go ahead and give it to the Mula. The Mula did win this round. I uh, That shouldn't be a shock to anybody. Honestly, um, that's kind of what I thought going into it. But after the first couple passes, I really thought the Gillette was going to win. Uh, I really did. That being the case, what I have to say here is... While the Mula technically won, it was very, very close. Like, that Gillette gave it a run for its money the entire time. It, I, I have nothing bad to say except for the fact that there's a little bit more growth left in my problem areas. Only in my problem area. And there's a little bit burning, which leads me to believe it's a little bit of a more aggressive shave with a cartridge razor, which is not news. So overall, the Mula does win, but it's very close. So really what I'm finding is cartridges definitely have a place in today's society, especially classic ones. That Sensor XL, mwah, I have nothing bad to say about it. I will keep that in my arsenal. I will get more blades for it, and I will continue to use it because it did phenomenal. It held its own both days. If you remember, I even compared it to the DE without meaning to the other day as well. So it really did hold its own. Stood on its own, did a great job for me, and is a good tool to have. DE Razor wins as I kind of figured it would. DE's for the win. Hear it for, let's hear it for some DE Razors. We all love wet shave, we all love our DE razors, and this actually does prove slightly that they are top of the line, they are, they are wonderful. But let's not count out cartridge razors. There's a place for them, they do work if you get good ones. There are some shitty ones out there, and I'm gonna compare the shitty ones, um, and I have a couple in mind that I really don't like. And I'm gonna compare it to the Mach 3 as well to really see the Sensor XL versus the Mach 3 to find out which one is better there because the Mach 3 has performed better after the first shave, but the first shave with the Mach 3 was crap, just crap. So I really have to compare the sensor there and to see how that's gonna work out, but the sensor's gonna stay in my arsenal. I do like it. There is a place for disposable razors as well. We're gonna do more disposable comparisons as well. And it's just, it, it really is. Don't count out cartridge razors. Just don't. But DEs do win ever so slightly. And that's impressive for me. It really is. I'm, I'm shocked. I really am shocked. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit something. I hope you learned not to count out cartridge razors yet and maybe give them a fair shake. But 
I think what we also can take away from this is when it comes to cartridge razors, Classic is better. When it comes to DEs, there are a lot of great classics out there. I got to compare those as well. But DEs, the moderns are wonderful as well. Um, you can't really say that moderns are any worse or better than a than a vintage DE. But you can definitely say that modern cartridges are worse off than classic cartridges. They just don't make cartridges like they used to. They just don't. All right. That being said, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me some comments below. Ring that bell icon for notifications. If you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media, that's Instagram and Twitter, at The Dave Shaves. Follow me on Facebook and Patreon, that's facebook.com slash The Dave Shaves. Give me some love on Patreon, again, if you feel so inclined, that's patreon.com slash, you guessed it, The Dave Shaves. And please hit me up on the web at thedaveshaves.com. That's it, of course. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.